Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, which is November 10th. Our scripture reading for today comes from Jeremiah chapter 42, verse 20. That you made a fatal mistake when you sent me to the Lord your God and said, pray to the Lord our God for us. Tell us everything he says, and we will do it. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for this day. A day you created before the foundation of the world was laid. A day that our eyes has never seen before, but that you have ordered our steps already in it. Father, we pray this day that everything we do, every step we take, every person we meet, we can be a witness for the gospel of Jesus Christ to bring all honor, glory, and praise to our Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, We've been studying and sharing a lot lately about praying for our loved ones, about standing on the promises of God's word, about not negating our prayers with our unbelief. And I, I just want to emphasize the most important thing or the most important denominator, however you want to look at it, in all of these sessions lately. I say the most important thing, not to exclude any part of God's word, but to make you think about what I'm about to share. Now, if you hold on to this one aspect, everything, Every, absolutely everything in your life will begin to change. And it will begin to change immediately. What is the most important thing? That is knowing that your prayers are answered even before you pray. But especially once you pray. Amen? How do I know that I have the petitions that I desired of God? Because I know He heard me. How do I know He heard me? Because I prayed according to His will. How do I know I prayed according to his will? Because I prayed what was in his word. And God's word is his will. Amen? So when you pray according to God's word, you are automatically praying according to God's will. Glory to God. Don't shut me down when I'm preaching good. Let's look at the opposite perspective for a moment to show you how self-centered we can be. If God does not keep the promises in his word every single day, one of them, then he is a liar and not God. Now, don't think of me being blasphemous right now. I'm not. I'm saying if God's word does not work all of the time, then there are some areas where the word of God will not work. And if God's word does not work all of the time, then there are some areas of life where someone else is God in those areas, namely the devil. Which would mean then that Jesus did not completely defeat the devil. Which means there is still the possibility your sins are not paid for. Now, how silly, how stupid does that perspective sound? Do not accept that lie from the devil. Oh, it didn't work for you this time. Find a promise in God's word and stand on that promise. If the devil or your mind or your body tries to tell you, well, it didn't work this time, just say out loud, devil, you, you devil, are a liar. God's word says, and then quote the scripture you are standing on. Amen? Mm -mm -mm. I sense this is such a deep subject. I sense this is probably going to be talked about on one of my Sunday sermons pretty soon. <laughs> Amen? But we'll take it up right here tomorrow. Uh, we're all out of time today. I don't want to just keep talking on the same points. I want you to understand if you have a problem, you go to God's word. You find a, that problem where God answers someone else's prayer concerning that type of Now, I'm not talking about, you know, I got a flat tire, I got to hurry up and get to work type thing. I'm talking about you have a need, that need is met in God's word. It could be finances, health, relationships, jobs, employment, whatever. You find the answer in God's word and you take that scripture and you stand on it and refuse to compromise. Your prayer is already answered. It's just a matter of it from amen to there it is. That's all you're waiting on now. You got God's promise that, that there it is will be there shortly. Praise God. Mm. Let's take it up here again tomorrow. I want to encourage you to read the word of God Find the answer to your problems in the Word of God and stand on those scriptures. Amen. Praise God. Do not compromise ever. Let's pray. Father, in Jesus' name, your word is sure. Your word is the only thing that is absolutely true 100% of the time. Father, we thank you for your word. 
you gave us your word so we could stand on the word. Non-compromising, without being defeated. The devil is a liar. The devil is defeated by Jesus. And all we have to do is use his name as the total and complete authority we need in this world. Father, we thank you for loving us so much that you made it all possible. Thank you, Jesus, for making it possible for us to become children of the Most High God, heirs of God, join heirs with you of all things. And to you, Father, we give honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Mm, this is a good one today. Be sure you share this episode out far and wide. Blast it all over social media. Someone somewhere needs to hear what the Holy Spirit said today. Amen. Don't forget to go over on iTunes. If you take two minutes, look us up. Prayer 2021. Leave us a comment, rating, and review there. That really does help us to get the word out. Amen. And be sure to visit our website, podcastisforchrist.com. Take a look around there. Got a lot of good stuff going on over there. Till next time, that's Pastor Bob reminding you again for 1 Thessalonians 5, 17, Living Bible to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. Talk to you tomorrow.